Hello, what's up YouTube? Running Sweet and a tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can easily color grade your images and later on save that color grading as a preset in Camera Raw or you can use it for Lightroom if I told you know how to save it in Lightroom but this is going to be majorly focusing on the Camera Raw filter so if I told you haven't hit the like button I'm just going to repeat this if I told you haven't hit the like button on this video make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can recommend this and push this to more people and help the channel grow in the very end because if at all you don't know what that simple like button contributes someone out there is going to be learning about this very technique and it's going to be enabled when you hit the like button and youtube is going to push this to more people out there so enough of it let's just come and look at the image details this is the raw file taken using my Canon 60 camera at ISO 125 using my Tamron 70-200mm lens and I shot it at 143mm and the f-stop was f4 and the shutter speed was 1 out of 500 of a second so usually before I do any color grading I have to ensure that I have a starting point for my color grading because if at all you don't first of all correct the lighting issues within your images that means that you're not going to be able to color grade quite well and before you can do any color grading make sure the monitor that you have or the screen of the computer that you have is well calibrated by calibration i mean the screen should be showing the colors quite accurate enough and they should really look very nice and accurate so you have to make sure the screen you're using is well calibrated so after ensuring that the screen is showing you the accurate colors you can go ahead and proceed to color grade your images so like i said the very first thing i prefer to do is correcting the lighting issues in the image so i tend to take my highlights down to get rid of the whites within the image and i also take my whites down slightly then i add contrast within my image just like that around i think 10 will do and i take my blacks down to add contrast within the image then I open up my shadows and that looks fine so this is the before and the after so I'm just going to slightly open up my exposure slightly then since I shoot with Canon I tend to see more magentas within the image and in order to eliminate that kind of magenta I tend to take my tint down slightly I think 4 is fine so Right now let's see the before and after for this image. This is the before and after, before, after. So after doing that, I'm going to come all the way down to my clarity and add some little bit of clarity to the image. And that tends to add more detail within the tiniest part of the image or my details or the textures in the image. And after doing the basic corrections, the next thing is coming to the color mixer option or the hue saturation and luminance so i'm just going to take some time to explain to you so that you can understand what each and every slider under the hue saturation and luminance does for you when you're doing the color grading so we have the hue the hue basically changes a given color and it targets you can see these colors are more like the rainbow colors red orange and stuff so when you look at the red right here and you take it to the right hand side you can see you'll be changing it to look like the color just below it i hope you're understanding that let me just use the oranges for example if at all i move the orange slider towards uh, the left hand side it means that I'm making the oranges look like the color on top of it, which is the red. And if at all I'm moving the orange slider towards the right hand side, it means that I'm making the oranges look like the color below it, which is the yellows. Let me show you that practically. So I'm just going to move the oranges down. You can see that the oranges in the image are turning out to look red in color. And I'm just going to reset that. And if at all I move the orange towards the right hand side, I'll be making the oranges more yellow, which is the color below it. So that is basically how 
the hue slider or the hue option in the HSO panel or the color mixer mix means. So saturation is more of the intensity of a given color. By intensity I mean how much of a color that you need in an image. For example, if at all I am to use greens as a reference for this, if I if I take the greens to my left hand side, it means I'm reducing on the intensity or I'm reducing on how much the green color is in the image. Just like that, you can see it has taken out the green color from the image. And if at all I take the green slide slider towards the right hand side, it means I'm basically adding more of that color within the photo. I hope that has been understood quite well. And right now we have luminous. Luminous is more of luminous is more of light. So luminosity is more of light, and this is where the word luminous has been gotten from. So luminous is more of the brightness or darkness of a given color. For example, I'm just going to be using greens for this case. If at all I take the green slider towards the right hand side, you can see it makes the greens brighter. You can see the before and after. It makes the greens brighter. And if at all I take the greens down towards my left hand side, it is going to make the green color darker within the image. So that is more of luminosity. Luminosity rather or luminance. So I'm going to first of all play around with these colors. And starting with the luminosity, you have to look at the colors that you want to target in your image. For example, when I'm color grading, I tend to target more of the skin tones first before any other color within the photo or within the image. I'm just going to come to the oranges and simply take or darken the oranges within the image just like that. And what this does, it makes those oranges darker and more richer and you have a more richer skin tone so that the skin doesn't look pale. So you can see what we have just done. You can see the skin tone is really rich and doesn't have that kind of too much paleness or that kind of white within it. And after doing that, I'm just going to come to my hues and play around with the colors with the skin tone. Remember, when we are dealing with skin tone, we'll be targeting reds, oranges and yellows. So those are the colors embedded within the skin tone. So as you're looking at this image, I'm going to first of all target the red so that I can eliminate the reds that are within the skin tones of the model. And in order to eliminate those reds, I'm going to come and move the red hues towards the oranges so that they can look more like the color beneath it and we have uniform skin tone. Just going to come the red slider and start moving it towards uh, the oranges, just like that. And you can see this tends to uh, get the reds looking more like the oranges. And now we have gotten rid of uh, those reddish kind of patches within the skin tone. And now the skin tones are a little bit more harmonized. And the next thing I want to do, I'm just going to take the oranges to look more like the reds. I know this is a little bit weird, but I just want you to look at the image as we're working on it. I'm just going to move the oranges towards the reds, just like that. And this makes the skin tone look a little bit more uniform. Negative 8 is fine. And I'm going to take the reds a little bit higher to around 50. So you can see the before and after uh, for the color grading of skin tones so far. So after doing that, I'm going to come to my yellows. Since we have yellows right here in the background, I feel like I should make the oranges or I should move the oranges towards uh, the green side just like that. And I'm going to move the greens towards the aqua side because when you are hewing, you'll be targeting the color below that color you're trying to hew. So I'm just going to take it towards the aqua side and this looks fine so we just want the image to pop out of the background but this looks a little bit oversaturated so we're just going to come the saturation and we turn down the intensity of this color within the background by coming to the greens and simply 
are knocking it down just like that and you're going to also knock down the yellow slightly not too much just a little bit so right now the subject is really standing out and is popping out of the image so we're just going to come to the luminous and just brighten up those greens just a little bit so you can see the before and the after right now and the subject is now popping and now the attention has been attracted or pointed or centered on to the model so i feel like i should play around more with the skin tones right for this case so i'm just going to take my oranges slightly up just like that and you can see right now this looks good and looks fine but i feel like the saturation of the background is a little bit more just going to desaturate it a little bit more so i think that looks fine and you can see the before and the after right now so anything that we want to do is add some kind of greenish feel to the highlights and that is where we have to come to a second option which is split toning so under split toning you can either add a specific color to either the highlights or the shadows of the image so what we want to do we are going to come to the highlights and that is the color i want to target for the skin tones i just want to add some greenish feel to or some cyan feel to the skin tone i'm just going to come to the saturation and first of all push it up so what this does it helps you to look at the image and as we are applying that color to a specific area we'll be looking at the intensity in real time don't mind about how the image looks right now we're just going to come to the hues and start moving the hues until when we look at the color looking great or looking like i will just want it to be so i'm just going to add i think a greenish color just like that the skin tone but this is a little bit too much and that is why you have to come back and turn down the saturation slightly so i think around 15 is good so this is the before and after before after so this looks great and the next thing you want to do is you can go ahead and whiten the eyes of uh, your subject but that uh, would uh, be another topic and i don't want this to be a pretty long tutorial so let's see the color grading so far for this image this is the before and after before after so you have now color graded the image and you really love the colors but i feel like the oranges are a little bit more so i'm just going to come back to my hsl panel and simply desaturate or turn down the oranges slightly to around uh, negative five so like i was saying if i told you i've loved this color and you want to save it as a preset for your future color grading what you would you do in this case so you are in the camera filter just come right here and click on more image settings so when you click right there you have where we can see these options so just come to save settings so when you come to save settings you can see every little adjustment we may have done to the image has been ticked or checked right here so if at all you don't want to save these adjustments for example in the basic remember your images may be having different kind of lighting but i would recommend that you leave this but if at all you don't want the basic or the light correction settings in your photos you can just come and turn off this basic option and it's only going to leave the color grading of the image so if at all you feel like uh, that is okay and you, you feel like you're comfortable with it you can just come and hit save and you can name this to maybe let's just name it to feb feb preset just like that and i'm just going to look for a folder just going to save it on the desktop so that i don't have to look for it later on hit save and let's just come and we reset everything for this image just come and reset to default so just want to see if at all the color grading or the preset has been saved successfully and if at all it can be applied to the image so i'm just going to come right here and come to load settings 
and look for my uh, desktop and look for my preset so i'm just going to look for fab right here fab preset and play it so just come and select it and click on load and you can see it has applied the color grading but remember we turned off the settings for the basic color correction so you can just come and add contrast to the image and take down the highlights if at all you need to and take this down and also take this down so basically that is how to color grade in the camera filter and also how to save your camera camera raw presets in photoshop so if at all you have found this really helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you haven't hit the like button or even subscribe this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget keep practicing and keep creating